Hello one and all, welcome back to more Let's Play Suicoden 2. I am the Max of You Trades, and in the last part I ran around like a madman trying to make as many friends as I possibly could, and by Jove, I think I might have managed to do so. In this part, well, we've been tasked with breaking into Luca's encampment and figuring out how much revisions that, or provisions they have in order to find out how long they're going to be sticking around. Everybody everywhere seems to think it's a terrible plan, and I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of inclined to agree. <coughs> Excuse me, terribly sorry. Every now and then I get a little bit of a tickle tickled in my throat. Causes big problems, not a fan, not a fan. Almost as much of a fan as I am not of these... I don't even know, man, it's weird, it's like they're bears, but also ghosts, and they also have sickles for hands. It's a, uh, interesting combination, to say the very least. <coughs> anyway, tasked with going, let's see, isn't that, the, the place right up ahead should be the place that I was at. Or at least, you know, the, 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 the entry point. Oi. Trying to remember where even I was supposed to actually expect it to go. I'll be honest, it's been a day or two since I've last played, so it's hard for me to remember everything. Okay, yeah, no, this is exactly where it is. There we go. Hello, good sirs. I've been told I'm allowed in. Beyond here is the neutral zone with Highland. No one can enter without permission. Well, by Jove, I do believe we happen to have that. We're here by orders of Chamberlain Jess. You should have received word of us. Oh, well, I mean, I don't actually need any authorization or, you know, proof of that, so, but, you know, yeah, you're probably telling the truth, sure. I'm starting to get pretty excited. Garland, Joey, I feel like a spy or something romantic like that. <laughs> Ellipses. You're cleared. If you take a shortcut through the woods, you should be able to approach the Highland camp without being seen. Should be being the operable word. I mean, it's totally possible that you might get caught immediately. Try not to, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, let's go, go, go. Oh, beyond here is Highland territory. You're not allowed to pass. Oh, okay, fine then. Um, am I supposed to be going this way? Hello? If you go through these woods, you'll find the Highland camp. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we should split up here. Don't worry, we'll go along with you until we get to the enemy camp. Come on, let's go, let's go! <sighs> You're way too excited about this, Nanami. I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you. Ordinarily, your enthusiasm is infectious and charming, but in this particular instance, I feel as if it is unwarranted. These are some durable bunny rabbits. Oh my goodness, ah! And of course they hit for like a bajillion damage. Except against Hannah, who's apparently made out of freaking adamantine. Oh, what are you gonna do? I mean, I guess she does have just the best armor, but still. My goodness. A casual axe toss doing over like 50 points and then boom, ah, that's just 26. Just a, just a simple counterattack and you're already close to being murdered. Also, apparently these freaking kill... These kill rabbits. They aren't even killer rabbits, they're just kill rabbit. <laughs> apparently... They are very evasive. Very, very good at the dodge and counter. Okay, could you maybe stop doing that, though? <laughs> if at all possible, it would really benefit me greatly if you were to maybe knock that the ever-loving hell off. Oh, there we go, leveling up. Ah, oh, look at all the experience Mukamuku's getting. There we go. Now you're back to being the extraordinary powerhouse that I know you are. Oh, little squirrely friend. You are squirrel-like, but I enjoy you greatly. And more of these dudes. Coming out of the woodworks. Alright, fine. I'll fight you. I'll fight you on the beaches. I'll fight you on the beats, yes. Anywhere you want to fight, I'll fight you and I'll beat you, see? Assuming you don't aim for any of the, ah, more injured party members. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I suppose I kinda had that coming. Terribly sorry about that over there, Anita. 
You shall be avenged! And healed once the fight is over. There we go. Sheesh. At least leveling up your teammates when they're um, underleveled otherwise isn't actually all that difficult. I can appreciate that quite a bit. That being said, where are you, Nanami? There you go. I saw you being close to the deaded. I don't want none of that. Oh, are you actually serious with this right now? All right, fine. You know what? Then I'm just going to have to bust out the big shiny light of doom. In fact, you know what? Let's let's bust out two giant shiny lights of doom in the off chance that they manage to survive the first one. Never underestimate a rabbit holding a small hand axe. I mean, the rabbit's already trained itself to be capable of using that sort of combat, so... It's, it's definitely not something you want to take lightly. There we go. Man! Ruby, the electric flying squirrel of doom. Just might be the greatest party member this, this entire thing has ever had to go up against. Also, armadillons. I don't know what that means. An armadillon. Hmm. Okay, then. <laughs> That's a little... That seems like you were trying to just make an enemy sound a little more interesting than it actually turned out to be. I mean, it's an armadillo. I mean, an armadillo that's standing on two legs and can, like, cut you and stuff, but, like... You know, that's actually something you see not too often, but often enough that I find it interesting. Armadillos. They're such a unique and interesting beastie on the planet. You know, they're the real world. You know, I, I don't know if an armadillo has ever actually showed up on the real world of the TV show, but what I mean is... Armadillos, they're they are cool. And it's... You'd think you'd see them a little more often than you do in fiction. You see them fairly decently. And it's kind of a shame that Dylan's role in Western never took off as much as it did. I certainly hope that they do, though, because... Because now that the, uh... The, the 3DS is pretty much dead. Assuming any of these, you know, game... Yeah. I'm getting tongue-tied to high heavens. Assuming any of these IPs that were pretty much exclusively barred to handhelds for all these years... I mean, assuming they're not just dead completely, you know, out the gate... They should, in theory, be able to make, you know, the jump over to the Switch. And that means, you know, more exposure and all that good stuff. Then again, it's so hard to predict what the internet's going to do with what they're, with what they like and what they don't like. They'll just randomly take this or that and that and this. It's like, yes, no, no, that's definitely going to be the hit sensation of the internet. That uh, we're not so much interested in that. What's this code name? Steam Plebeian. No, thank you. I, we don't want that. I mean, man, you had Tom Sawyer and Abraham Lincoln fighting in a steampunk dystopia. I legitimately do not know what else you want. <laughs> But uh, okay, take away the historical figures, replace them with little squiddy kids, and make it a make it a team action shooter. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's make that a phenomenon, a phenomenon so intensely amazing that it ends up getting in Smash Brothers. It's like it got onto the fast track to get into Smash Brothers. I realize I'm not talking much about what's going on, but really, I'm just kind of stabbing armadillos, and. Uh, there's really only so much you can talk about that. This forest seems to be going on forever. Am I going in circles or something? I'm having a hard time noticing anything resembling a landmark. I could actually... This, this could be just a giant maze that I've been lost in. And just talking to myself randomly for the past few minutes. Boy, howdy, would that be an embarrassing turn of events. There we go. At least we're getting strong enough to take care of these dang rabbits. So far, I've actually really enjoyed the flow of the uh, of, of leveling up and fighting the monsters, because it seems like you have trouble at first, but then once you beat them, you make you, you know you get your level up one, maybe two level up, and then boom, suddenly you're on even footing with them, and then you just kind of keep going from there. Basically, all the enemies will pretty much, unless you're backtracking, I assume, all enemies will just about be everything in, you know just as strong as they need to be to be an adequate enough challenge so that's pretty good also i guess i wasn't lost from here on garland and i will go alone the rest of you wait here for us okay we have to change it to our uniforms now so <laughs> so what uh, could you look the other way <laughs> even even muku was all like oh dang sorry i didn't mean to invade your your privacy there huh it's kind of big but it's okay Let's go, Garland. We do look quite odd. 
It's true. You two just don't look right in those uniforms. It's probably the fact that we're not wearing the standard issue helmet. It just looks like we got, had our head sprites slapped onto one of the guard sprites. Garland, Joey, be careful. If you're in danger, just run away, okay? If in that's a possibility, then I suppose so. All right. Act natural, act cool. Don't even worry about nothing. We should go look in that tent with the provisions first. It's probably that big tent over there. I don't think that tent's any much bigger than any of the other ones that are around here. But uh, I suppose I'm glad that you decided to tell me that. <laughs> Otherwise, I honestly don't know if I would have been able to tell which one is the one I'm supposed to be going into. There's a lot of damn tents around here. You and a treasure chest, too. I see that. Looks like that's where they're storing the provisions, but those guards... IMMEDIATELY CAPTURED! What the? Who are you? Oh, no. <laughs> come up with a lie, come up with a lie. Those are Youth Brigade uniforms. What are you doing here? Well, you see, that is, we... <clears throat> we were in the Unicorn Brigade. Okay, not a lie. The state soldiers ambushed us and everyone. We managed to survive, but the rest of the troop... Is that right? You kids are very brave, those state dastards. They're pure evil. Yeah, yep. you're right, they are. You're damn right, they are. Don't worry, though. We'll take revenge on them for what they did to you boys. Thank you. Uh, our captain told us to come here and get some butter. Huh? Really? Well, that's random. But okay, sure. <laughs> yeah! Thank you, random no-name guard. Hey, let these guys in. They came to get some butter. Really? That's random. But okay, sure. My shift's almost over. Yes, sir. All right, the longer we take it to be in there... I'm gonna say is probably a bad thing. Like, hey, you guys. Hmm. Uh, Niels? I guess it's my imagination. You couldn't be spies with faces like that. <laughs> you guys keep your spirits up, okay? Yeah. Thanks a lot. If and that's what I must and do, then that is what I'm against to do's. So this is where they're keeping the provisions. Well, let's take a look around. And also, let's try to be quick about it. Any unnecessary amounts of time that we spend in here is just another second they're going to think we're doing something nefarious. It's about two weeks worth. I guess the Highland Army is planning to end things fast. Now let's go before we're caught. Immediately leave. Immediately leave. And the guards are missing. That's mildly problematic. Oh my god, of course you're here. Why? Of all the people to run into. Hey, you guys are Garland and Jowie. What are you doing here? Captain Roud. Huh. <laughs> Now you really have become state spies. Yeah, but, you know, because you tried to murder us. What else are we supposed to do? Intruders! Let's run. Yeah. But I wanted the... I wanted the... I wanted the treasure. Can I have the treasure? I can! I can grab the treasure. Give me that treasure. Fire ceiling. Like, the kind of... The kind of thing that you... Like, a ceiling of fire? Fire ceiling. Oh, void fire. Water damage times two. Oh, okay, so... Equip that, and water damage is done double, but you're immune to fire. That's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run now. Gotta run, gotta run now. Gotta run, 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 run. And there's guards there. Garland, stop. We can't go that way while soldiers are around. Uh, okay. Then where do you suggest we run off to? Okay, there does not seem to be a place for us to run to. That seems to be the only, only way to go. Huh. Okay. Um. This tent seems fancy. Can, can we hide in here? Oh. Who are you two men? Uh-oh. That can't be good. This tent is for the royal family. Oh, that's double not good. I guess we've got no choice. We've got no choice to do what? Princess Julia, my name is Roud. I've been assigned to security here. Did she hide us? Two state spies have infiltrated the camp. Forgive me, but I'd like you to allow me to search this tent. No, that's not necessary. Please leave. I assure you it won't take a moment. Did I stutter? Thank you anyway, soldier. I wish to be alone. But, but if by some chance... 
I'm asking you to leave, or do you wish to disturb a lady's private sleep chambers? I could put you to death, you know. Uh, n n no, my lady, it's not that at all. P please, please forgive me for disturbing your rest, princess. Is there a particular reason you were willing to help us? That seemed random. Was that good enough, Mr. Spy? We surprised you. Forgive us. No. Uh, no, we didn't surprise you, or no, you're not going to forgive us, or, or what? What are you... Please don't be so frightened. I thought I'd serve some tea since you can't leave for a while. It's island style. You're bizarrely hospitable. Also, would you please put away that knife in your hand? Uh, perhaps that's acceptable behavior in the city-state. And Jowie, don't be rude. This woman is bizarrely kind to us. Although I don't know if we should drink that. That seems like it could probably be poisonous. We met once before in Kiaro City, did we not? Oh, you were the one in the carriage! I remember you said something like, This country has betrayed us. I won't forgive them. So, how is it now? You still haven't forgiven us? I, uh, certainly don't think so. Well... Yeah, no, I'm gonna give you the old ellipses on that one. Say, what happened to that lively spirit you had back then? Oh, well, <laughs> you know, we kind of had to see two towns get completely ransacked, murdered, and pillaged. Eh, you know, kind of depressing stuff. Also, we have runes in our arms now. Jilly, no, princess, what are you doing in this place? My brother, Luca Blight, do you know him? Uh, I've heard of him, yeah. Oh, pff, yeah, I know him. My brother is trying to expand this war. Even the most of the people of Highland are tired of it. Also, my brother is considered something truly evil. Up until now, I've always thought somehow I could stop him, but... It looks impossible now. He'd never listen to me. To my brother, I'm just like an enemy. Well, that would explain why you were so okay with helping us, I guess. Looks like I don't have the power to stop my brother. I've begun to realize that. As a princess and a woman, I'm limited in what I can do. That's self-sexism, and I won't stand for it. I'm sorry to have spoken so long. The tea has gotten cold. Things have quieted down outside. Perhaps you'd like to leave now? Uh. Thank you for the tea? Farewell. I do not think we will meet again. Thank you. I'm almost positive we're probably going to meet again. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can just skadoodle? Oh, I thought so! Oh, what were you doing, just hiding in a bush? I could tell the princess was opposed to Lord Luca, so I kept on the lookout, and who pops up but you guys? Get ready, state spies. We're only spies because you brought us to this point. Oh, now we're in trouble. You won't get away this time. Kill them! There was like six of them, but now we're only fighting four. How odd. Alright, well, we've got uniting attacks for this sort of thing. Can you stand up to the mind-melting intensity of pure friendship? Well, three of them couldn't. <laughs> we'll take it. Tuckatow, tuckatow. Really do have to give Garland a lot of credit for being able to go as far as he can using Tonfa as his primary weapon. I know I've brought that up before, but I'm still impressed by it. Also, our outfits changed back to their normal version is just to switch back. Oh... Uh, Garland, I'll figure out a way to stop them. I want you to run. If they get us both here, Nanami, who's waiting for us, might be in trouble, too. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. Uh, no, I don't think I can do that. We don't have time to argue. Hurry! What are you doing? Go! <sighs> We're out of time, Garland. Go! Ah, he pushed me. I promise I'll catch up to you. They're not gonna get me. Hurry up and run. And then I did. Oh, trying to buy some time so your friends can get away, huh? That's very sweet. But it's meaningless. Man, considering how freakishly transparently evil you are, it's kind of weird that we ever sided with you to begin with. Shut your mouth! Saving two, my two friends is plenty of meaning for me. Empty talk. We'll capture you and your little friend Garland, too. Oh, Black Sword Rune. If you really are one of the true runes, then grant me the power that I need. Huh. Is it just me, or did, uh, anyone else get a kind of an ominous feel from that? Oh, you're back! You're back! Over here! Are you okay? I heard a lot of yelling, so I thought they captured you. Huh? 
Where's Joey? He didn't... Yeah, we don't really have a lot of time for talking. There you are! Over here! Hurry! Yeah, what, 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 what? Nanami, I need you to stop... T to stop saying words more than once, and instead... You know, maybe make with the running. Enough of the running of the mouths. Make it, make, make it a running of the legs. That'll do it. That'll do it just fine. That is such a useful power. I smote thine enemies with great holy magics. Huh. But what happened? Hey, 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 Garland. What is, where's Jowie? What happened to him? First, we kind of got to leave. Huh? Wait a minute. No, no wait a minutes. They're here. They're still here. How many of you dudes are there? Oh, my God. I feel like I've beaten up the entire camp twice over. How many soldiers can one army have in one outpost? Oh no, Jowie is... He'll, he'll be okay, yeah? He'll be fine. Jowie always keeps his promises. We'll wait and muse for him to come back. He may even catch up to us before then. Right, Garland? Do you really want me to answer that? Because I don't have an answer. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's mildly problematic. What exactly am I supposed to do now? I mean, I suppose I could maybe get v Victor to help. He seems like the type of dude who'd be down for helping this sort of thing. Victor! <laughs> I need assistance! So, Jowie didn't catch up with us. Well, what should we do? Should we go see Jess? Well, I mean, this is kind of his entire fault. So, might as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, you Jess. I managed to find the amount of provisions. So, I mean, that's something, I guess. There's an important meeting today. You must go. Oh, of course. But, I... <laughs> There's an important meeting today. You can't go in. Butts. Okay, fine. We can't see Jess or Annabelle. What are you going to do? Are Victor and the others here? I mean, he's kind of our only bet at this point. Might as well give it a try. Ah, don't do that. <laughs> Victor! <laughs> Jowie Dunn got himself captured by some enemies. And the way that it was staged made the whole thing seem really, really ambiguously not good. Garland, you okay? Well, Noah told us where it was going on. We've been worried. No doubt. Y yeah, I'm, I'm okay, but... Jowie, yeah, he's not here. What happened to Jowie? Well, you see... What? So they've captured Jowie? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. Jowie said he said he'd follow after us. What's scaring him going to do? Hey, let's go and see Jess and find out exactly what's going on. But Jess wasn't there and we weren't allowed in to see Annabelle. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll show you a good trick. If it's a good trick from Victor, you know it's gonna be a real good trick. Okay. I halfway expect him to just straight up deck the guy in front of the door. <laughs> it's like, yep, there you go. There's, there's my credentials. All right, now let's just go in. I mean, Victor seems to be pretty intertwined with all this stuff. He seems to at least carry a lot of weight behind him, so. And I don't mean that in a fat guy way. What's your business here? Lady Annabelle is preparing for a meeting. And I was right. <laughs> Good trick, huh? It's the best way to deal with government workers. Let's go in. <laughs> okay, then. What is this? Victor and Flick, what happened? Why do you look so angry? Hey, you! Is it true that you sent Garland and Jowie to sneak into the Highland camp? W hold on a minute, don't get so mad. Yes, I asked them to do it. Now get your hands off me. Oh, so you admit to being a scum lord. Annabelle, I don't know you that well, but is the state really in such bad shape that they have to use kids like this as spies? Jess... I asked them because in order to defeat the Highland Army, we need to know how much provisions they have. Garland, how much provisions do they have, anyway? 
About two weeks worth. You! Is that all you? It was either that or silence. The important thing is Jowie. What about him? Jowie's been captured by Highland. Well, I don't know if he's been captured, but he didn't come back. So kind of got to save him. Garland, Nanami, I thank you for getting vital information for us. Furthermore, I apologize for putting you in such danger. But I'm afraid we can't save Jowie. We'll get our hands full. We've got our hands full just protecting the city. Forgive me. B -b -b Garland, Nanami standing around and talking isn't going to bring Jowie back safe. Two weeks means they're planning a swift assault. Now we can plan our strategy at the Hilltop Conference. Thank you, Garland. Why you? Please, no violence, no violence! How dare you, mercenary! We needed information to save Muse! Besides, it's your fault that Lady Annabelle is suffering. Oh, the Nessie? The, now it seems like you're deliberately antagonizing a man who could easily rip you in half without any problems. Stop it, Jess. Stop literally poking the bear with a stick. Enough, Victor. I guess mercs like us don't have anything to say about what goes on here. Let's go back. Are you sure? Because violence really makes me feel better. Damn. What an asshole. You seem so much more benevolent initially. I'm sorry, Garland. If we'd been there. I wonder if Jowie's okay. I'm sure he's fine. He'll come back. Nope. I'm assuming that was me agreeing. You're right. Well, I'm going to go wait for Jowie out by the gate. I don't know how smart of an idea that is. I feel like I should probably go with her. Nanami! I, I, I can't make promises. I don't feel confident believing that he's going to show up. Hey, darling. Jowie's not... Jowie's not back yet. I'm gonna wait a little longer for him, Garland. Why don't you just go back to Lenoa's and rest? If he comes back, I'll tell you. No. No, I think I'll stay with you. That would be nice. It'll seem faster that way. No, I, I guess not. Hey. Company is company, man. It's late. Garland, you should go wait at Lenoa's. No, I've definitely made my stance at this point. I ain't going anywhere. <sighs> Pilka. Now she ran her whole way dang way over here. Why you gotta be all like that, you crazy girl? Are you okay, Pilka? Why? It'll be okay, honey. Chowie will come back. Ugh, damn it! I'm so tired of that happening. Yes, you do that, Garland. When Jolly comes back, we'll tell you right away. Cra I didn't want to do that, though! Oh my god. Stupid answers? Why does it have to be like that? Garland, I told you it'd be okay. But you must be tired. You should get some rest. I, I fully intended on staying with them, by the way. I'll just have you know. Garland, you're still waiting? You should listen to what Victor says and get some rest. Well, there's something I never thought I'd hear Flick say. I understand how you feel. Waiting is hard work. But you know what? It's better to just think that he's alive and fine. Things usually work out okay. Flick, with all due respect, I've, again, seen two cities ransacked and burnt to the ground with everyone inside of them murdered at least twice now. That's right, he'll come back. Garland! Garland! I'm down here. D there you are! I'm back! I came back like I said! Hey, don't get so excited. Well, ah, damn! He actually did show up! Wow, ex now I really wish I didn't accidentally go back to the inn. I don't know. I'm back, Garland. Came back like I promised. I'm tired from waiting. Welcome home. Thanks, Garland. I told you, didn't I? I knew it would be okay. Uh, I feel like that moment would have been way better if I was standing out there waiting for him like I was like I was trying to. Stupid fast-acting action buttons. 
Hey, how long are you two gonna sleep? I don't know, seven days? Eight days? Twelve days? A little longer, you know I hate mornings. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't actually expecting him to come back. I thought we were gonna have to, like, mount some kind of rescue mission. I know it was rough, but it's already been a week. Snap out of it. Oh, damn. Okay, a time skip. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Where? Something's about to start at Jouston Hill. People have come here from all over the place. Is it a festival? Maybe something like that. Come on, let's go see. Oh, well. Shall we go, Garland? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Luckily, I happen to actually know where that Justin Hill place is, so getting there shouldn't be too difficult. I am legitimately rather amazed that he showed back up. And I'm really angry about not being able to actually go through the proper scene. <sighs> oh well. I guess I just need to be, like, incredibly slow when it comes to hitting buttons on this damn controller. Is there, like, a setting I could maybe set it to? Like, message speed? You know, maybe maybe if all message speed is fast, I'll, I'll see less of a point in hitting the A button to speed up dialogue, and if I don't speed up the dialogue, maybe I won't hit the buttons so fast. Let's hope for the best. Also, wow, hello. There's a big fancy something or another. Some kind of mountain bridge. Ooh. That looks like a photograph. <laughs> hey, Victor. Oh, are you here for the view, too? Victor, what is this? Eh, it's a meeting of the leaders of the city-state of Jouston. This is Jouston Hill, so they call this the Hilltop Conference. Leaders of the five state cities, Muse, South Window, Green Hill, the Matilda Knights, and... Uh, ah, I forget. Anyway, it should be interesting. Interesting? It's okay, don't worry. You can get in if you stick with me. You should see it. It'll be something to tell your grandkids, I'm sure. Uh, okay, sure. If you say so. Only concerned parties are allowed past this point. We're a concerned party. And Victor, mercenary leader under contract by Muse City. The others are with me. Let us in. Wait a minute. Show me some proof of identity. Hey, you don't recognize my face? My face is my proof of identity. Sorry, but I can't let you in. Hey, what? Hope you're not planning on using your good trick again. I don't know, it's worked before. Who's this? Oh, you... Are you really Sir Flick? Uh, yeah, but... You're the mercenary soldier, the one... The one they call Flick of the Blue Lightning. I don't much care for being called that, but I suppose technically... Please, please, go in. How come they don't know my face, but they know yours? Honestly, I'd say Victor is definitely the more sh n memorable appearance. Then again, I guess Flick does wear a cape. A bright blue one at that. How should I know? Well, okay then. I guess if we're allowed in, we're allowed in. I guess that's just going to be enough. Mayor of Mew City, Lady Annabelle. Dressed like a pirate. We're gonna do our sightseeing over there. Eh. Out of the way, girl. Wow. Why is everybody so incredibly rude? You creep, what are you doing? Pardon us, my lady. I believe he was but over eager. May we have your forgiveness? No. I mean, yes? What are you doing, Camus? Just doing my job as a knight. Got a problem? Uh, it's okay. That's good. Well, please excuse me. Let's hurry, Camus. It's also a knight's job to be on time. Oh, like I'm gonna take orders from a bowl cut. Hey, hey! Garland Jowie, did you hear? He called me Lady. Well, aren't you easy to butter? Leader of the Matilda Knights and the White Knights, Lord Gordi Gerudo. G Gerudo. Hey, here we go. Representative General of Two of River City, Lord Mackay. Acting Mayor of Greenhill City, Lady Teresa. Mayor of Tinto City, Lord Gustav. Mayor of South Window City, Lord Granmire. 
Commander of the Muse City Forces, Lord Hauser. My goodness, that's a lot of dudes. In accordance with the Jousted State Agreement, I hereby begin the Hilltop Conference. Clang, clang of the gavel. The Highland Army is massed at our border. They have only two weeks' provisions with them. We believe they'll attack soon. Wait a moment. Aren't they still in compliance with the peace agreement? Are we still going on about that? The Highland Army has already invaded the eastern part of Meuse and burned several villages to the ground along the way. As for that, didn't Highland re reply that there was a trick by mountain bandits? Do you really believe that Victor's mercenary army could be crushed by a group of mountain bandits? You can't deny that the Highland Army is massed at the border. It is a fact, and the represents a threat to the city-state. The Highland Army has approached the border before, and they've never truly attacked. Why should this be any different? Man, that guy has a lot of eyebrows and not a lot of eyeball. The command of the Highland Army has changed from Argus Blight to his son, Prince Luca Blight. And with a name like Blight, I mean, really, what were we expecting here? That's why things are different. Oh, so you can't pay your annual rice offering for three years, but your mouth still works. Fine, I see. Bruh, you want to get slapped upside the head? Man, the old dude in armor seems like the most obnoxious of dudes. It's just as Lord Gustav said. They'll run at the first sign of battle. I'm certainly not going to spend my nights for this. The people of Two River are tired from many battles. You can tell by my incredibly punchable face portrait. Luca Blight is more demon than man. If he breaks through Muse's defense, the state will be in shambles. In the name of our mutual oath, I order you to provide troops to protect Muse City, capital city of the city-state Jousten. I'm not afraid of your threats. What good is it if I protect Muse and my people, the people of Tinto Starve? Oh my god. That's an order in the name of the state. You should watch how you speak, Lord Gustav. Plus, her name is Gustav. Excuse me. A random no-name. I have news to report. The Highland Army has slaughtered our border guards and they're reportedly headed for Muse. What? It appears they were serious. Gee! Glad it took people dying for you to finally understand that much, you jackass. You all heard. I'm ordering all of you to gather your armies. Hmm. But I don't wanna. How does that benefit me? Okay, let's go back. I suppose those dudes are still standing around? Nope. Guess we had to wait for them to make their thermal exits. How funny it is that they have no desire in helping until it ends up, you know, maybe they'll also die horribly. How hard is it to be a good person? I mean, seriously. So that was pretty interesting, huh? You think so? Looks just like a bunch of old men talking to me. <laughs> uh, I guess you're right. Man, I'm tired out from just sitting there. Let's head to Lono's place. Many dots. You okay, Jowie? You've been kind of... Ellipsy-like. I mean, I know you kind of did that before, but it seems to be your only response to anything, and on top of that, even when you're not directly spoken to, the game sees fit to let me know that you're just being oddly silent. I feel like they're doing that deliberately to make me notice. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Talanoas! Oh, hello. Hey, what a surprise! I was watching the meeting, too. It was rough, but you did well. Well, just part of my job. Nobody's giving full cooperation, but nobody wants anyone destroyed by Highland, either. So, what is it? You didn't come here to make small talk. Victor, I need you to somehow slow down the Highland Army. It'll take seven days to gather all of the state forces. But the Highland Army will arrive here in five days. Two days would be enough. Please just buy us two days. Two days. We battle outside Muse and maybe bloody their noses a little. Yeah, I think I could buy you two days. You'll never change. You ask for crazy things like they're nothing. The idea of us alone trying to stop that Luca blight. I'm counting on you, Victor. Also, we'll be expecting reinforcements from the Matilda Knights to arrive early. Well, if that's if it's just slowing them down, I think I can handle it. Thanks, handsome. <laughs> well, uh, hey, that's my job. <laughs> Jealousy. Didn't mean to skip that. Apparently my trigger button actually will skip dialogue for some reason. Um, please let us fight with you. 
Jowie, Garland, it was wrong of me to get you guys involved in this whole mess, forgive me. But you don't need to do any more than you already have. This is a problem for us adults. No, we want to fight. We'll help you slow down the Highland Army. Garland, you'll fight too, won't you? Uh, well, I mean, I... Sure, I guess. Garland, Jowie, Nanami, don't get yourselves killed. But the battle is over, come back and visit me. I'll tell you all about Master Kinkaku. Well, that's a pretty good incentive. Although it's not exactly... You never you never want to hear a character say, When this is over, come here and I'll... I don't know if that's ever worked out for anybody. But you do seem kind of tough. I guess it depends on how absolutely pear-shaped this whole situation goes. Well, I gotta get back. Victor, do a good job for us. I know you will. Yeah, well, you're right. <laughs> yeah, shut up. I know I'm awesome. Hey, hey. Wake up, Garland and Joey. Everyone's meeting outside. I'm already awake, Nanami. Actually, I couldn't sleep. Yeah, well, you know, going to actual literal war tends to, you know, rattle the nerves a little bit. Ever so slightly. Oh, that is not the way downstairs, that's the way to the room next door. <laughs> not what I wanted. The Highland Army advanced forces are close. If we can beat them, we'll have done our job. Our job isn't to defeat the entire Highland Army. If we can slow them down, it'll be enough. But remember, if we don't protect Muse and it falls to Highland, it's all over. So give it all you've got. Everyone, gird yourselves for battle. We'll go when preparations are complete. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay then, well. It's it's interesting for me to think of this as a short episode. It seems to be going over 40 minutes, but that's besides the point. It's short in comparison. In the next part, I guess we're going to be going to war. For the purposes of slowing down an enemy army, this seems ill-advised, to say the least. So far, every single moment of this game has seemed like one horrible, horrible idea after the other in rapid succession. I'm... More than slightly worried, if I'm being honest with you. Oh boy. I'll see you all then.